<laughs> yes, Christian Prince, how are you doing? I'm fine. You will say to me something useful, Sheikh Tara, about what we are talking about? <laughs> yes, uh, first thing I would like to do is say hi to everybody and uh, if I tell you that I lost a family member, you don't have to make we, we are, over we are sorry for, for hearing that, if this is true. But that I, I don't lie, so uh, I lost a family member, okay. and uh, I was calling around. My friend, people. what will happen to a family member who is uh, who who uh, who die according to Islam? If you do the right the the right thing, you go into heaven. If you do the wrong thing, you you go into hell. No. No. What is yes. the what is the thing will happen to him after he die, my friend? Let me repeat the question. After a person he dies, is a Muslim. What will happen? Is it true that those angels will come to you in the grave, and they will ask you three questions? What I'm telling you is, whatever do good, you'd say it. This is oh, not my, my question, understand. my friend. No, is it true that angels will come to you, and they will ask you three questions? Yes or no? On the judgment day, you will be judged. I'm quoting you the Quran. That is not the question. You, that is not the question. You do See, you, you see, you told me why I block you. I, I, I ask you about something, you answer about something else. What will happen to you when you go in the grave after death? According to Islam, is it true that two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions? And if you don't give the right answer, they will hit you with the hammer. I'm telling you <clears throat> what Allah is telling me in the Quran. If see, you keep repeating died. the same thing. You keep repeating the same thing. You did not even say this is true or not a true. Is it a true? What? Is it a true, my friend? Is it true? Why? Is it true or not? Is it true that your God, your prophet, he said to you that in the grave, two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions. And if you don't answer correctly, they will hit you with the hammer, which is made from steel. Yes or no? You asked me a crystal question to record it. I'm recording. You said what happened to somebody mm. if they died right? right before you go to heaven there's a long process because heaven is in the judgment day after you die what will happen grown up after Can die what, after die what will happen I, after you die what will happen you go to the grave right oh my god do you go to heaven you right away I, after you die do you go to the grave right I'm away having, or to the heaven i'm having two seconds you having 27 seconds can you let me talk can you be a can, how, can you how just many times I need to repeat my question in order to make you talk? How many times I need to repeat the same I'm question? Talking. Why it is so hard for you to tell me the answer? I'm what happened to a dead person, but you don't let me talk. Okay, let us you see if you want to talk. Because you repeated the same I'm answer 100 times already. Talk. You answered already. You said to me, We'll go to heaven. You go to heaven. I said to you, This is not the question. You keep saying the same thing over and over. What's wrong with you? How many times I said to you, this is not the question, this is not the question, this is not the question. After you die, what will happen? After you die, you don't go to heaven right away. You go to the grave. Yes. Okay, what will you happen in the, the grave? grave? What will happen in the grave? The grave, you sit there till uh, your your soul. Okay. Your soul in the grave. Your body is going to roll up. The body is not nothing. There's no body in Jannah. Mm. There's no body in heaven. Mm. But this is, is not a question. Is it true? Is it true that angels will come to you and they will ask you questions? Yes or no? And they will hit you with the hammer. They will hit you with the hammer if you don't give the correct answer. It's crazy, man. Can you let me do this talk, though? Why are you talking Here 90 percent? Here we go. Here we go. Please let me, <laughs> let me answer. Go ahead, Why answer. I cannot say three words. I say, really? I say two words. You're gonna cut me off. Let everybody, me everybody is laughing at you. Really you are avoiding the question. No, Go ahead. Like okay, answer. So you, you're being a kid. Okay, they, they're laughing. Uh, okay, answer, answer. Yes. What, is it true? Is it true that she, uh, the angels will come to you with the hammer? Yes or no? I'm telling you, I go by the Quran. I don't care what the hadith is say. The, the Quran say you, you are, die. You are a Quran you, only. Believe. You are a Quran only. I am with the Quran and everything that does not contradict the Quran. The word okay, of Allah. Where, is where, Allah. Okay, where this is contradicting the Quran? Isn't it? Isn't it the Quran says that uh, when you go to the grave, Allah is going to make you blind and He will. Uh, let us see what the Quran is saying to you. I will show you on the screen. <sighs> Let's 
Can you see my screen or no? No, but I'm going to try to see. Give me one second. I'll go back to YouTube. Hmm. The thing is, if I, I I'm I'm using the same phone. If I go to YouTube, I don't know if if the sound All is right. going to be. I want in you the... to read for me. I want you to read for me chapter twenty, verse number one twenty-five. Chapter twenty, you said. Hmm. Is it twenty? What one twenty-five? Hmm. Does it ever occur to you? Oh, does it, does it ever occur? 125, right? No, no, this is 128. 125, you said, right? Mm. Uh, he, uh, he will say, my Lord, why did you summon me blind? Mm. When, when I used to be a seer. Mm. What is it about? What is so, that? Uh, you, so tell me. you said you believe in the Quran, right? What is that? Explain to me, what is that? Why are you making me not see what I used to be seeing? Mm. But this is about when? I don't need the context. You tell me. You tell me. You are the Muslim. Here we go. You said to me you believe in the Quran only. I'm asking you now. What is that? Yeah, it's a verse. I, I, I read it. I understood the verse. Okay. Tell, like me, to, tell uh, me what, what is the verse saying? The verse said, the man, whoever they are, they said, Allah, why did you make me blind where, while I used to be seen? You asked me to read it, I read it. Okay, what does that mean? That means that you used to be seen, now you're blind, you don't see. Why? Why? What, what, happened what happened exactly? What happened? This is what happened. What happened? What happened? I can go back to the context. Okay, it says, it says, if I gave you verses in the Quran and you forget them. Do you remember the Quran, all of it? I can't remember the whole Quran. Okay. It's 6,000. But the, but the Quran saying, because but the Quran saying, if you don't memorize all the Quran, Allah will torture you. Allah didn't say that. Read, no it, read the, the verse after it. Nowhere in the world. Read it. Read the verse after it. Verse I'm 126. Read, read the verse 126. Read it, my friend. Read it. I will. Okay. They will say, because we forgot our revelation. Mm. When they come to us, mm. you, are, you are now forgotten. Mm. Because we forgot about the Quran, we did not use the Quran. You didn't say memorize the whole Quran. Mm. Don't be inventing. Mm. You are inventing a lie every day. Got caught. Mm. So Where it says. Say it says. It says because you do not memorize the Quran, right? You forgot the Quran. No. It, it says that. It says. No. Okay. Is it, does it say? Does it say because because it, my friend? Okay. Uh, uh, you forgot our our. What is it? Does it say ayah? Does it say the word that ayah? Means, you don't speak Arabic, right? It says ayah. Does it say ayah? What ayah mean? Let me read it. Hmm. Ayah means the revelation. Revelation. The hadith. Revelation. You, you can, so did you, did, yes. you, did you remember all the revelation of Allah? I said you can't remember all the revelation of okay. Allah. Okay. So Allah will torture you if you don't remember the revelation. No, Allah didn't say that. It says... That you know. that, not forgetting it means you are not using it. You okay, you are using it. Okay, Allah He said in the Quran. Allah He said in the Quran, you do muta. Do you practice muta? Allah never said you practice muta. Are you you sure? invented it. Okay, we go to chapter Allah four. We, okay, we go to chapter four, yeah, verse number. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay hold on. Let's see. If this is I am I am inventing. Here we go. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Does it say that? And if you don't believe me, here we go. Four. I will go. And I will four. open. I can read four. Okay, read. Go ahead. You said there's no muta. Everybody is laughing at you all because every Muslim believe, every Muslim agree that the Quran taught the muta. Everybody is laughing I, at I, you. Everybody is laughing at you. Officially. Let me read it. Okay. Let me read it. Hmm? Let the world hear it. Okay. So just, just be okay. quiet and let okay. me read it. Okay. Okay. Also prohibited are the women who are already married. Hmm. Unless, yes, already married. You can't marry a married woman, right? Hmm. Unless. They flee 
they're disbelieving husbands who are at war with you. Mm. Unless they flee, mm. the woman, mm. they flee the, the disbelieving husbands mm. who are in war with you. Mm. Those are God's, God's commandments to you. Mm. So all other categories are permitted for, for you in marriage. Mm. All other categories. Mm. I just heard you saying you cannot marry Christian. Uh, friends, let me show you that how funny you are. Okay. It says how it says hold on hold on hold on how it says forbidden for you married women if this is about marriage if this is about marriage forbidden for you to marry married women this is what the verse yes, saying, right? you cannot okay, okay. so forbidden for you forbidden for you to marry married women except you're right in her process you can sleep with them right I, I said whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, oh, my friend it's forbidden for you it for forbidden for you to have sex not to marry because you cannot marry a married woman you cannot you see how before you are you cannot you marry a married woman except except who there's exception for the married women except who except your captive so you Muslims you can rape your captive and then he continue read with me in the screen it says you can go and do an agreement with any women of your wish of your choice additional to the slaves there's a woman, a Muslim woman, she agreed to sleep with you for agreed period of time and agreed money. Read with me. Zawaj al muta. Do you see it in the screen? Do you see it in the screen? Yes or no? I, I told you I'm facing the book. I cannot, I'm on my phone right now. I'm I don't care. I don't care. This is this is in the screen. It says that this is the word al muta. Everybody in the world knows that the word al muta. Let me ask you, we make it simple. You see, this is why I say I don't want to talk to you because you act like a kid. Did you hear ever about the Wajal Muta? Yes or no? Did you hear did you hear ever about the Wajal Muta? Yes or no? Let me read the verse. Did you hear ever before about the Wajal Muta? Yes or no? Did you hear about it before? Yes or no? Yes or no? I did. Okay, you where's the Wajal Muta coming from? As long you heard, as long you heard, I want to go with your logic. Where's the Wajal Muta the teaching coming from? Teach me. Yeah, I still read the verse. If the verse, if you're honest, my friend, where's the word is coming from? from? I am honest. I am showing Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of your prophet. You are, you are, you are the one who is not honest. I'm showing this is your official Islamic website, the Kingdom of Jordan, and this is the cousin of your prophet, Ibn Abbas, and this is the translation made by the Muslims. Who is the one is not honest, me or you? I am. I'm reading it. I start reading it. Two sentences, you cut me off. You and the let me finish. I okay, read it. Here we go. And then try, and then... Re okay. okay. So tell me, uh, the muta is coming from so, where? What is the source of muta in Islam? Oh my God. Can you I, let me I want an answer. You no, you don't. You know, I know you. You are a kid. You never answer anything. I. We start talking about the grave. What will happen in the grave? And look what we're in because you never answer anything. So I'm asking you. The Wajil Muta, you said you heard about the Wajil Muta. It's coming from where in Islam? If it's not from the Quran, it's coming from where? These are God's commandment to you. All other categories are permitted. For Abdul, you where is the Wajil Muta? Don't make, don't force me to hang up on you. I'm losing my voice. I don't want to repeat myself. Where is the Wajil Muta is coming for in Islam? Is it coming from the Hadith or from the Quran? I want you to give me a clear answer, please. I'm telling you, Muta is in the Quran. Muta has been interpreted as something different. Arabs are doing whatever they but want. This is another question. I'm asking you, where the Muta teaching in Islam coming from? Is it from the Hadith or from the Quran? Either you say to me from the Hadith, or you say from the I Quran. Said, I said it, Muta. The, the word Muta is in the Quran. Okay. Which what verse? Which verse? Which verse? Which verse? Which verse? Oh my goodness. Which verse? Oh my which verse? The one says Muta. What is your problem, man? Which verse saying the word muta? You just said the word muta came from the Quran. Which verse in the Quran saying the muta? This is ridiculous. Which verse in the Quran saying muta, my friend? Is it, you, a, is it a chapter 4, verse 24? Yes or no? Is it a chapter 4, verse 24, the one I'm showing on the screen? Yes or no? You don't want me to read it. I tried 100 I am times. asking you where you we can find the word muta in the Quran. You said the word muta is in the Quran. Which verse in the Quran? Let me read Arabic. This is not the question. Right. You see, don't make me hang up on you. You are a kid. Are you going to answer oh, where we can find the word muta in the Quran? Which verse? 424. 424. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. 
the word muta is in the Quran and coming from a chapter 4 verse 24 and this is the interpretation. and so we asked you did you hear about before the word muta you said yes I said to you so you know about it. you said yes okay where well, we can find it yes. finally you said in chapter 4 verse 24 okay what muta I mean I'm trying to I'm trying to read the verse for for 20 minutes you don't want to let me read the damn verse we did let already we did already what is the muta I mean go no, ahead what is the two words what is the muta I mean you don't gonna let me do it I, I'm reading in English for you people to hear but you okay I want you to read and explain it I'm listening to you go ahead that's what I started 20 minutes ago you kept on telling me off because you're a kid you listen I read the verse right now for you 424 you're talking about being a kid now I'm gonna have to start all over okay I'm gonna restart it over again also prohibited are the women who are already married unless they flee their dis disbelieving husbands who are at war with you you are at war your woman flee from you they don't want to hear you anymore. They don't want to submit to Allah. They came to us, flee, and yes, the, the, we, we consider them divorced. They can marry other people and have another life. These are God's commandments to you. All other categories are permitted for you in marriage. So long as you pay their due, the dowry. You, in Islam, before you marry anybody, you gotta have to pay what they call a dowry. You gotta have to pay it. That's God's Allah recommendation. You cannot you just come and see, and see somebody. Okay, we just know marriage is sacred. So uh, uh, you shall maintain your morality by not committing adultery. Thus, whoever you like among them, you shall pay the dowry decree for them. You cannot just sleep with somebody without marrying them. You commit no error by mutually agreeing for any adjustment to the dowry. Okay, I don't have it right now. Uh, I know the dowry is, is $100. I don't have it right now. I give you 50 and within the time, if, if I, I try to save $10 a month, whatever I can save, and I give it to you. But I owe you that. You know, my friend, God, I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I came back I and the studio did not give me the answer. I went to the bathroom and I came back and I was expecting you would talk and you would say nothing. I want you to tell me what interpretation for the verse you like me to read for you. What is color you like? Give me a name, please. I just, I just read, a, a, read an interpretation. What interpretation of who? Of who? It, does it matter? It's Arabic. Yeah, right? it's matter. It's matter. You know, read interpretation for me. Who is a scholar? Who is a scholar? I want to read it with you. Who is the name of the scholar? His name was Jack and Nike, Potato Tomato. Who's he? Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa, you are not a Muslim. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa, he, he, he cut the Quran pieces. He took verses from the Quran. That's why the Muslims killed him. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? How you explain Rashad Khalifa? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to give me. I want you to give me the link of Rashad Khalifa interpretation, please. Go to. Please let me talk. You know what? You just said to me. You just said to me. You did read Rashad Khalifa interpretation in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? You just said to me. You did read Rashad Khalifa interpretation in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? You only read in Arabic. Go ahead. I do it. I do it in Arabic if you want me to. Go ahead. Big deal. Read, read Rashad Khalifa in Arabic, please. Go ahead. Okay. That's all you had to ask, brother. It's not 424, right? Oh, my goodness. Auz Billahi Minash Shalala Gim Shalala Haman Rahim. Well, uh, well, <laughs> read the interpretation for me. You are not reading Arabic. I know what you are reading. You are reading in, in, the, in the language where it make you pronounce the words as if it is Arabic. Read the interpretation of Rashid Khalifa in Arabic for me. You said to That's me. That's what I'm reading. No, you are not. You are reading what? 
the translation in, uh, you know, I, I'm reading, I just read in English, now you want me to read it in Arabic, right? I want you to read in Arabic, yeah, go ahead. The, tra the interpretation, correct? The verse itself in Arabic. No, no, the interpretation of Shad Khalifa. You said to me, you did read it for me, Rashad and Khalifa interpretation. I want you to read it for me. That's what I just read in English. Okay. No, you said to me, you know Arabic. No, I said I can read the verse in Arabic. I can give you the interpretation. How you can read the verse in Arabic, but you don't? How you can read the verse in Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic? Oh my God! Do you speak Arabic? So, speak, speak to me in Arabic. Hold, go ahead. I'm listening to you. I'm not speak. I can read the Quran. So how you can read in Arabic? What the point of reading for me the Quran in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Obviously, you are reading letters which resemble in the sound of Arabic. You do not know Arabic. Okay, now. Uh, let's, okay, let's, now, let's, now, let's, now let's listen, listen, listen. Okay, let's, okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen, you said listen, you are. Listen, listen, you listen. said you said you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Is Rashad Khalifa is a Muslim? Rashad Khalifa, yes, he's a Muslim. But isn't it him who cut verses from the Quran off? To make what is called miracle number 19 he said that the quran have additional verses not true he did say that yes he did that's why the muslims killed him okay so what so you agree with, do, do you agree with him muslim killed messengers right no okay so uh, the muslim they killed the messengers yes so he's a messenger of allah i'm just saying it's in the quran that some messengers have been killed my right? friend my friend okay who, who are the messengers were killed in the quran I don't know the name, but I'm so what, kind, what, what kind of God your God who says there's messengers are killed, but he cannot give us a name? Why would he give a name? Why you want to mention them? You know, Allah have time to tell us about the ant who was speaking to the ant, but he cannot mention a prophet name who was killed. Does it matter? Is it relevant? Yeah, it's matter. What? Yeah, it's matter what? because what? very what? important what? to know who is a prophet who was killed, who is the prophet was killed. <laughs> You are talking about irrelevant things. If My friend, no, we are. You see, you see. Listen, listen. You are, you are a joker, and you have no idea, and you are not a Muslim. By saying to me that you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa, you admit that you are a false Muslim. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's no Muslim in the world. I want everybody to remember this guy. His name is Sheikh Talha. All the Muslims. He is a follower of Rashad Khalifa, and all. If we search right now, is Rashad Khalifa is a kafir or not? You will see all the Muslims agree he is. Is that correct? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That's a lie. All right, let us see. We will see if this is a lie or not. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Rashad Khalifa, he claimed that he is a messenger, and you said that the, the Muslim they, they, they killed messenger, right? So you agree that he's a messenger. Is that correct? He's the messenger. He yes. is a messenger. Okay. So isn't it your prophet? He said he is the last one. He never said that. Allah said he's the last prophet, not a messenger. So, okay. so Rashad Khali. So what's the difference between a prophet and messenger? Oh, you want to go there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can debate. How you that. can be? How you, you can be? That? How you can be a messenger, but you are not a prophet? Yeah, yes, you can. Hmm. Explain to me. Because, okay. I, I, I'm gonna tell you uh, what's a messenger and and uh, and what's a prophet, mm. right? Okay. Allah said, uh, I, "I know that right now the understanding of the Sunnis or of the regular Muslims is that every messenger is a prophet, right? Every messenger is right? a, is a prophet, right? That that's what they're saying, right? No, no. Tell me what you believe yourself. You know how a messenger can be a messenger of of God, but yet he's not a prophet. Explain to me." Give me yes. an example. Uh, give me an example. Allah. Give me an example of somebody who is a messenger, but he's not a prophet. He did not prophesy. Oh. Give, give me an example. Yeah, I give you an example. Hmm. I give, Allah, uh, Allah gave us the list of the prophets. This is another question. Give me an example of a messenger who is not a prophet. Please don't go around in the bushes. Give me a name of a messenger. He yes. is a messenger, but not a prophet from Islam and the Quran. I don't hear you. I said, give me one second. I got. I will give you. you know, one, I will I, give you one year. No problem. 
Okay. Uh, the the first thing I would like to I, I can give you the list of of every prophet. Allah no, 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 no. Listen, you see, don't all. play games again. Here we go. We can jump in like monkeys. Give me a name of a messenger which is not a prophet in Islam, please. Just one name. He is a messenger, but he is not a prophet. Go ahead. It's not a big deal. I'm waiting. Can you find me one? No. Who is a messenger I mean, but not a prophet? Okay, just just give me one second. Don't don't, don't be rushing. Mm -hmm. Look like All you right. cannot, You don't even remember one. You have to search. Yes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Mm. Okay. Uh, look at here. Um, Rami Yaqub is no Israel. You put him at his uh, his 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 Moses is Aaron. Don't make buzz in my nose, in my in my in my ears, please. You know, come on. Just oh, okay. read in uh, your heart and tell me the answer. What, who is the messenger? Who is a messenger but not a prophet? Give me a name. Um, mm. I will give anybody else other than these people. That mm. these people are. Mm. Uh, Everybody else other than Ibrahim, mm. Ishaq, no. My they, friend, you see how stupid you are? You are forcing me to insult you. I give me the name of a messenger who is not a prophet. I am facing the name of the of the 18th prophet. This is not the question. I'm I not asking those. you to name for me the prophet. I said to you, name for me one messenger oh. who is a messenger, but yet he is not a prophet. Make it why you your God, he sent 124,000 prophets. Are you going to name them for me? Give me one messenger who is a messenger, but yet he is not a prophet. Give me one second. Now you, you're about to get it. Mm. It's coming. You're it's about coming. to get that. Mm. The Korean. 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 Okay, what Idris did? Tell me the story of Idris. Who is Idris? Listen to me. Don't, don't, don't. We have a debate. Abdul, the, the debate Abdul, let me get you busted. This is the Quran, you, chapter 19, get, verse number 56. It says that Idris was a prophet. Why well, you are a donkey? Does it say in the front of you that Idris was a prophet? Yes or no? Hold on. Hold on, hold, hold on, on, hold on. You, you said, everybody heard you. You said that Idris, he is a messenger, but not a prophet. The Quran says the opposite. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, hold on. Mm. Hold on. Mm. To, to make it simple, Allah told us about 25. My friend, don't messengers. change the topic. You said Idris is a messenger, not a prophet. Everybody is laughing at you. Why you lie? The Quran in the front of us, a chapter 19, verse number uh, chapter 19, verse number 56. It says Idris is a prophet. Your God Allah was wrong or was was right? Right. You're right. I read it wrong over here. You're right. Uh huh. You're right. Okay. We go back to zero. Right. Give me. We go back to zero. No problem. You are forgiven. Me. Give me. Give me a name of a messenger who is a messenger but not a prophet. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Now listen to me. Mm. Listen to me. To make it simple, right here, mm. right. Mm. You want to know which uh, person is not? Uh, 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 I got a list here of eighteen. Just eighteen people. It's I don't like care. Give me a name. Give me a name of a messenger who is not a prophet. He is a messenger, right but not a prophet. Go ahead. You, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying, I know there is not, not six people that are messengers in the Quran that are not prophet. I'm trying to go through the list. Just get lost. I'm losing my voice, guys. I keep repeating my uh, same, uh, same question. We have to repeat it 1,000 times, and they will not read. I mean, this is how stupid this cult is. The Muslim believe that there is there is people who they are messengers but not a prophet. We say to them, we can name one, they cannot. Show me, silence me, answer me. I know this is coming. You do not know Hebrew, you do not know Arabic. I know this is coming. Show me. Stupid people. I mean, this is a joke. What a liar you are. Shame on you. They are liars with certification of stupidity. I mean, can you find me one Muslim? He is not 
doing his best to lie the Muslim they don't do their best to answer they do their best to lie this is my experience with the Muslims I never saw a Muslim doing his best to, 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 to answer it's just a chain of lying how much we can lie that is the question how much we can lie before we get busted that is the truth now who is a Muslim want to give us a call uh, Alicia said I lie okay hold on hold on we have another Muslim want to talk yeah you are Abbas so what call me Abbas call me you forgot Abbas who you are how many how many times you've been barbecued Abbas call me call me let us see who is lying all right <clears throat> How are you, Abbas? Hello. How so are you? you Sorry, one second. Okay. <laughs> one second, one second. I'm, I need to mute myself. All right. One second, one second. I'm not too bad. I'm just listening to your lies mm. all, all the time. It's just unbelievable how many times you have to lie about Islam. What you can do. Um, Here we go. Yeah, you, can, you can help us to expose the lies, my friend. Today you spoke so much nonsense and like every day. It's such a so so much fun listening to you. Really. All right. I mean, this uh, prostitution <laughs> verse you say, your interpretation of that prostitution verse that Allah encouraged encouraging prostitution, Islam. Mm. And uh, have you read uh, Ibn Kathir? Uh, read the verse for have me first, and we will go to Ibn Kathir. No problem. Well, you know the verse anyway. No I mean, problem. Do okay. Does it anyway? say? Does it say? Does it say in the verse if they choose a chastity, you don't force them into prostitution? Yes or no? I'm lying. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay, okay. So, so if they choose not to do chastity, you can do prostitution, right? Uh, meaning is, if these your slave girls, mm -hmm. if they want to earn money the way they are not Muslim to start with, if they want to earn money mm -hmm. outside whatever they're doing outside, mm -hmm. you don't force them do it or not do it. Mm -hmm. But you must not force them. They will own. They will earn money. They are slaves. Do the slaves? Well, they have their the own. Uh, can, a, can a slave open his own business? Or the slave he had to do what uh, well in those Arab culture in that time that some some slave women that do not have any husbands mm -hmm. so of course they have relationships outside no right? but this if is not they, about if, relationship if they, this is about prostitution they, this is about prostitution if, they, if if their master is not having sex with them it's possible that they have a fear outside and okay my friend I want benefit. you to show me maybe reference I want you to show me a reference that those slaves those slaves they open businesses for prostitution well, well, there, there are. Uh, if you read uh, Islamic history, in that it says, I think there are interpretations. I have read it, but I can't pinpoint exactly right now. I know exactly why you change, want to try to change the topic because I challenge you. Can I slave? 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 Practice mm -hmm. a business without permission his, of his master in Islam. Uh, it's possible if they're doing it uh, without telling their masters. It's possible if it's they're possible. Doing a, having affairs outside. If are, they're having affairs outside. Are yes. you sure? I'm. I'm very sure. Yes. What do you get? Tell from? me. They couldn't. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Your religion says that even a marriage he cannot practice. Even it's a legal marriage, a person who is a slave he cannot marry without permission of his master. It's not, a, it's not talking about marriage here, is it? Okay. So you are saying that even ma marriage, which is good to do. You cannot do without mm -hmm. permission of your master, but you can do prostitution without permission of your master according to Islam, correct? No, no, nobody's saying about permission or no permission. Okay. I'm asking nobody's you. No, I am, I am asking you about permission, my the friend. Worst, I am asking you about the permission. I'm asking you about permission. Can a slave person do marriage without permission of his master? Yes or no? Do marriage without the permission of his master? Mm. Um, I, do, I don't know too much about Sharia. You educate me on that. I don't know mm. about this. But okay. I believe, I believe, uh, no. Sorry? I believe no. You, I, I you believe, believe no? You, okay, you that's believe. that make I, it yes, easier. Okay, yeah, but, so you believe no? Yeah. Okay, so if marriage which is not is lawful, right? Is, is, is marriage something good or bad? It's, it's good, of course. Okay, so how come if you want to do marriage without permission of your master, you're not allowed? But you just said you can do prostitution without the permission of your master, and this is the teaching of Islam. How do you say that? Say that again. You say, say it again. You said you, said, you do... said to me. You said to me. This is about somebody, a slave. She want to do prostitution business and decide to make money. And I asked you, is that by the permission said, of the master? You said without permission. I didn't say the permission. 
Okay, by the permission of who? By the permission of who they do prostitution business? If they having a fair on their own uh, without master's permission, mm -hmm. uh, they, they probably they probably they do they mm -hmm. do have it. Mm -hmm. But the, but the question is, is did Islam tell you to let them do prostitution and earn money from them? Well, the Quran you in front yes. of you, the Quran in front I, of you. No, they don't make money from it. The, the one who make money is the Muslims, no. not the slaves. Uh, okay, okay. Now you need. Have, that's what I'm telling you. That's wrong. This is wrong understanding. Okay. Because this is not how Islam understands, and Ibn Kathir can. Completely okay. says okay. the three, three, three earning, three earnings on his Muslims are haram. Mm. One is the from the prostitution, mm. and one from the fortune teller, and the mm. third one is the cupper. I don't, know, I don't know what cupper means actually. Mm. To be honest, mm. these Muhammad Sallam clearly, clearly forbade these kind of earnings from prostitution are evil. Earning from cupper are evil, and price of a that's another third one is the price of a dog is evil. Mm. So this prostitution is completely Muhammad Sallam say evil. You mm. saying mm. Islam promotes it. Mm. So how, where you get this idea from? I want you to show me where Quran or Hadith clearly says you can earn money from prostitution. Now, okay, well here we go. Source. Here we go. First of all, the Quran in front of us, and we will go to the interpretation. Everybody will see. Yeah, which is okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, in front of us it says that uh, uh, force not your maids into prostitution when they desire chastity. So what is the condition not to force them? If they desire uh, chastity, do you agree or that? Do you agree or that? Uh, hang on, man. You are your inter interpretation. What? No, I'm not giving interpretation. I'm reading the Quran as it is. Does it say, yeah. "Don't force them if they agree"? When they agree, desire chastity. Do you agree with that? Don't force them. Yes, mm -hmm. if they uh, desire chastity. Yes. yes. Okay. Don't force. Them. So, so you don't force them, but if they agree not to be in chastity, it's okay, right? That is, I can't read that word because it says said. the agreement. It says why you, can, you know don't force them not if they desire. Force them not if they desire. Right. Does it, doesn't and, say and doesn't say doesn't say force them not to do prostitution. It says force them not yeah. if they desire to be chastity. So what is the condition not to force them? Force not your maids to prostitution mm. when they desire chastity. Okay, what if they don't? So, what what if they don't desire chastity? Why Allah He put the word here? They desire chastity. What okay, the point? What about it? What, what about if I say to you, like you put your interpretation? Mm. I put my interpretation in that. Can I do that? It's, okay, sorry, say again. Chastity, say again. Say again. Okay, I'm, you, you uh, listen to me carefully. Mm. You says that okay. means if they don't desire chastity, you can make them prostitute. Right. Yes? Right. This is what the verse yeah, saying. This is what the verse saying. Okay, whoa, 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 I hold it wrong. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, your understanding is that. I tell you this, my understanding is this. If they don't desire chastity, then marry them. How about that? Marry them? Do you what, like that? What, where it says that? Ah, yeah, yeah. Let them have, oh, exactly. So where does it say is, if they do desire it, then make a procedure. Where does it say My that? friend, why Allah, he put the word desire chastity if it is not the condition? Why he put it there? Are you saying this is extra? That this is this is your um, um, uh, twisted um, understanding of, of the Quran, and okay. that's what you always do. Uh, uh, no, this is not my understanding. This this is, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go. I will go and see the interpretation of the verse. Is that fine? Okay, let us that's do. what I'm asking. Your you're name, your you name, like your your your, your name is Ibn Ab is Abbas. Let us ah, go and see Ibn Abbas. You love Ibn Abbas, don't you? you love, What's you wrong with Ibn Abbas? Abbas. We, we, we will go to Ibn Kathir too. We will go to Ibn Kathir. Just wait. Do you know? Do you know what Muslim? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ibn Abbas is. Do you know what the uh, Muslim consensus what, about Ibn Abbas? What, what they say? What they say about Abbas, Abbas? Abbas is not preserved. Ibn Abbas. Ibn oh, Abbas not is preserved. Not preserved. Ibn Kathir is preserved. The, uh, Ibn Kathir is more authentic and more preserved writing of Ibn Kathir than Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas was the first one, hmm. and then about uh, seven hundred years ago, I forgot the name of the man. Okay, who okay. Read, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If a woman, if a man, he saw a woman in the desert and she have no food mm -hmm. and she said to him, please feed me and dine. And then he says, I will not feed you unless you take off your panty and I have sex with you. Is that mm -hmm. prostitution or this is marriage in Islam? Uh, prostitution? How that is prostitution? I don't know. A woman, she is dying and he is not asking her to mm -hmm. marry her. He said, I want to sleep with you. He didn't say I want to marry you. Yeah. He said, if you mm -hmm. let me sleep with you, I will give you food. And mm -hmm. then she did allow him to sleep with her. Is that a prostitution or mm -hmm. marriage for you? That is a prostitution on the on the behalf of a woman, not on behalf of a man. If man is 
can say, look, I, I no problem, guys. Did he say this is a prostitution? I like, I like did he say this is a prostitution? Here we go. This is the story. On, this on is a story. Of, okay, thank you, thank you. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, we got it. We got it, guys. It's a prostitution in the behalf of the women. The fact is the opposite because the women she have no choice but to, to, she will die if she don't eat. The man is abusing her and he is forcing her into sex. This is a prostitution. In the return, I will pay you. But the women, she have no choice to get paid or not. She want to live. She want to survive. And look what your prophet said. What what you what your Omar said. The caliphate. And you are the one who said this is a prostitution. This is Omar and the story of I a woman. On hold, a on, woman hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When a woman, she came to Omar and she said, this man, this man, he saw me in the desert. And what are I, you reading actually? What are you reading? Huh? What are you reading? What is your source? This is the source in front of me. This is no, the what is the name of the source? What Here we go. The the, okay, this is the name of the book. We can find you the, the, the same source from many places. This is not one. Okay. I can show you tons no, no, of verses. Give me, give me your most authentic source, please. I'm showing you the source, and I changed to prove that this is a, this is a lie. This is why no, they no, are. Show me, show me authentic source, uh, CP. Please, for God's sake. See, okay, which which source. is authentic source for you? Uh, okay, do I have to educate you on that? Okay, which no which problem. is the authentic? Anything I will show you, you say to me, it's weak. No, no, I'm telling you, you're asking me a very good My friend, question. I'm, telling I'm, you, I'm, I'm telling asking you, what is the authentic source for I'm, you? Anything you I'm, don't like, you will say to me. Telling, anything I will say to you. Authentic. My friend, anything I say to you, you will say to me, this is not authentic well, I'm source. Your, I, I'm, I'm your friend now. I think you you're not my friend. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar, my friend. You are a liar. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What is the authentic source for you? Name for me. Name for me an authentic source for you. Okay. Can I? Can you name for me authentic source for you? Uh, authentic source for me is first. No, I am telling you many, not one. I'm giving you many. Okay, what? Which the one? I don't hear. Which one? Which one? one? I, I did not hear anything. Can, give me authentic source for you for the stories. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, the most authentic source, most authentic source for me is the Quran, first of all. Okay. And then the second most authentic source is all mutawatir ahadis. What is Those that? Which book? Which books? Which books we, we will find? Repeated, there? repeated, uh, repeated. Uh, which books? Which books? Which books? They, they, they can, they can, they can be in Sahasita. They can be in the, the, the top six books of Hadith. Okay. Bukhari, Muslim. Okay. Okay. Hold uh, on. Let us go. Okay. Okay. Let us go. Let us go, let, let us go. let us go to Bukhari. Let us go. Let us go to Bukhari. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop playing games, man. How you talk? Okay. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is Sahih. You're a prophet allowing a woman to have sex with the man for three days, a three night, and this is a test drive. Are you uh, going to say to me, is that a is that a prostitution or not? Is that a prostitution or not? No, no, let me read. Don't force me. Are you in a hurry? You want to go to the toilet or something? Why? Is well, so much I, I went in the toilet when the, your your previous friend brother he was talking to me. I did already. So are you standing? Are you standing on the hot plate or something? Calm down. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us me, see. Here we go. This is me, this is Al Bukhari, read. the book you like. Is that prestitution or not? I, I I didn't see it. Where is Al Bukhari? Um, this is Salama bin Al Akwa. Where is Al Bukhari? Later, later we'll show from Al Bukhari. This one is no, not Al Bukhari. Can I can I read it? The Bukhari one? I cannot find Al Bukhari now. But, no, it's okay. What what you put on the screen right now? What source is this? I don't know. Later we will find out. But I want to read authentic source. You, you, I don't want you to. Okay, to let, let us read this one okay. first, and then we will go to Al Bukhari. Read this one for me oh. first. Okay. Uh, um, Salama bin Al Laqwa said, uh, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if a man and a woman agree, uh, their marriage should last for three nights, and if they like to continue. Mm. They can do so, mm. and if they won't separate, they can do so. Mm. I do not know whether that was only for us or for all the people in general. Mm. Abu Abdullah said, Ali made it clear that the Prophet said, Muta marriage has been cancelled. Mm. So, you, you're talking about Muta marriage here. Is that prostitution or not? Uh, how this is prostitution? Is Muta prostitution or not? Uh, uh, first of all, muta is not allowed anymore. It this is another question. Is, is is muta prostitution or not? Uh, of course not. Why not? You are paying a woman and for it, sex. You are paying a woman for sex. You are agreeing with each other mm -hmm. to do what? To do what? Of, 
Allah. To, to we, no, no, where is the word marriage? By the way, by the way, my, by the way, my friend, it doesn't say there the word marriage at all. I uh, honest to God, here we go. You asked me to read the translation, my, my friend. No problem, no problem. This is why they have it for you between two brackets. Do you see the word bracket? Do you see the bracket? Does it does it yeah. have a bracket there? That's mean it's not there. There's no Mary. So there's no Mary. The bracket is not part of the Arabic. Okay. You know, yeah. The okay. Bracket means it's not in. It Arabic. doesn't say anywhere the word marriage here. There's no marriage here. We go. I'll show you the Arabic. The Arabic says any man, any woman, they agree to do a ishra to to sleep together for three days and three nights. They can and they can increase if they like or they can decrease if they like. They can separate. There's no where the word marriage has appeared here. Look, you asked. Okay, me to read so now I'm asking you. Okay, no problem. I'm showing you. I'm showing you Islamic translation, but I'm asking you now. Okay. If I agree with the women that she will take off her panty for three hours or three days, in return I will pay her one hundred dollar. Is that prostitution or not? Listen, uh, um, um, the muta. First of all, it's not allowed in Islam anymore. This is not the question. This is not the question. If I agree with the women, if I see, if I see, what is the prostitution? Isn't it you? Is it? Isn't it the prostitution? You go to a woman and you say to her, "I will pay you if you sleep with you." Is it? This is the truth. Uh, why are you jumping from one story? We are not jumping. Here we go. You, and, you, you lie. No, no, you you I, want you want source. You want you source. You can read. You wanted sources. You can read. This is a prostitution. When a, when a woman. Well, okay, let me ask you. you. Are you going to allow your sister, with my respect to her, to do muta? If not, mm. is, if no, why? Uh, first of all, uh, you must understand when the muta was allowed, mm -hmm. when it was allowed for only for maybe three to six months, that's what it was allowed. This is, doesn't so matter. This allowed. is not a true, by the no, way. No. It's not true because even after okay. Muhammad died, we, we Muslim they practice muta, and until now the Shia they practice muta. Have you read the Sahih Hadith about mm -hmm. the muta? My friend, the so, answer uh, me. Uh, this, 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 at the time of Khaybar, mm -hmm. he cancelled it. At the time of Khaybar. He, you know the habit do, do you know what do you know what Ali he said do you know what Ali he said you mentioned Ali Ali he said if there if if muta still exists there's nobody will commit adultery is that correct uh I haven't read that I can show you the hate uh, later but let us go here a man no, and a woman a, a man and a woman they agree a man and a woman agree for exchange of sex and money three days or three nights or even three hours is that a prostitution if it is not why what is your logic Okay, uh, you asked me a rather question about when you mentioned if your sister uh, mm -hmm. happened, and you say with respect, I, and I respect that. That well, first of all, in in, in when muta was allowed, mm -hmm. when it was allowed, mm -hmm. it was not forced upon any woman or any man. It was completely up to you, the man and woman. If Correct. They no problem. It, and this yeah, is what the Quran is saying. Was, okay. And neither, see, guys, it's not forced. It it's not. You see, it's not forced. It's, that's mean prostitution is allowed. So it's not for us the women she can do that she can rent her vagina to a man and the man he can accept the renting of the vagina and this is a prostitution the women she get paid is it for free or for money is it for free all, is it, my friend my, no 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 is it for free is it for free or you have yeah. to mention the money and you have to accept the money and you have to mention the time and the date is it true or know, online do you know we know why money was in there mm. do you know why money was there Mm -hmm. Do you know the reason why money was there? Why? Why? Okay, because whenever you do marry with a woman, mm -hmm. muta or not muta, mm -hmm. you have to pay dowry. Yes, my Even friend. Marry, my friend. My marriage, friend. You pay dowry. You see, that, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let dowry. me ask you. Okay, let me let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Dowry is something you pay if there is a marriage to continue, but this is not a marriage. This is called muta. What muta I mean in Arabic? Can you tell me, please? Um, uh, come on, second. Uh, I forgot the meaning of the muta. Um, muta I means sexual joy. No, no, it doesn't mean that. Well, they are the way muta. What muta I mean? Muta I mean joy. That is not the literal meaning. That's not the literal meaning. You're lying. <laughs> You're lying. Here. This is not the literal meaning. Literal meaning is uh, is different. Mm. So what muta I mean? I'm waiting for you. I can't think of now. Oh, you are, cannot. are you saying that this is on record? That you you saying that this is the literal meaning of that? Yes, this is literally this is what the word muta I mean. Okay, okay, literal you saying muta actually literal meaning sexual pleasure. Mm. Yes. That's what you say. Mm. Okay, okay. I will I will count you on that and come back. I'm gonna come back on that mm. because what I learned this is not the literal meaning. Mm. But um okay, that's that that's that's fine if that's what it is. Mm. So I, I what are my understanding of muta is okay. that it was allowed in the time when there was a wars taking place and the men have to leave their homes and the wives mm. behind. 
So when they go in the other places, and if they are, mm. are either instead of raping women or, or doing wrong things, mm. they just go and agree with the women who want to agree with them. Mm. So it was in the very extreme situations that was allowed. Correct mm. me if I'm wrong here. You did not say anything to correct you or to say. I mean, you are just repeating yourself. Um, you see, I, didn't I, I, I have a, I have a, I, 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 my friend, you see, let us know waste our, our time. Mm -hmm. You say that the muta uh, is, is performed after paying dowry, right? That's right. Okay. Yes. And dowry is compulsory. Why then, marriage. why then you have to mention for how long? If this is um, marriage, if this is marriage, why I have to agree, pre-agree date, which means there's no divorce. When the time is up, the, the clock ring. Bingo, we are done. If that this is, is marriage, I, that, that is why I mentioned mm -hmm. that uh, my understanding of it, it was allowed on any extreme situations mm -hmm. like wars, mm -hmm. where the way you are away from your family. And my friend, then, my that, friend, that this is, is this is a lie. This is a lie. You're a prophet, he said. You're a prophet, he said. Here we go. Your prophet did not mention war. He said, any man, any woman, they agree to sleep together for three days, three nights. Why three days? Why three nights? Have you ever heard of a marriage? Go for three days or three nights. What kind that of marriage? What kind of marriage is that? No. The marriage with three days, you know, three nights. But do you know the muta can only also last for 90 years or 80 years? Do you know that? There's no limit on that. No you, limit. You have to put... No, no limit. You can have a you mm. can have a muta for ninety years. Mm. Based on based on who? Who is the one who came with this logic? Your prophet? Can uh, you show me the hadith? Uh, the scholars understand. Oh, see, when you, when I show you something, you say to me, "Show me authentic source." When you say no, something, you, right. you say to me the scholar. So I want you to know your prophet. He mentioned three days, now, three nights. What nine. did I say to you in the beginning? I said to you, Ibn Kathir, that he's a scholar. He, he, okay, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, my friend, let me, my you friend. Even okay, let me okay, explain okay, my whole authentic okay, 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 okay. Ibn Kathir, hold on. Do you agree with Ibn Kathir? Yes or no? Primary source is Quran. My friend, do you agree? I want you. I want you to say to me, I agree with Ibn Kathir. I want you to swear by Allah that you agree with Ibn Kathir. So now you are trying to put me in the box to say everything Ibn Kathir says ah, right. So you, so when you want Ibn Kathir is a scholar, when you want oh, Ibn Kathir is a donkey. When Ibn Kathir mentioned the same My friend, piece. do you agree with Ibn Kathir or you don't agree? Is Ibn, Ibn Kathir your I, scholar to follow or he I is am, a donkey? I am answering you. Mm. If Ibn Kathir mm. says something which is either backed by hadith mm -hmm. or even if it doesn't go against any hadith in the Quran, yes, mm -hmm. I will. So you are saying to me that sometimes Ibn Kathir, he do poo poo, he says stupid things. As a human being, he can, if he go against the hadith, okay. he can prove What about your prophet? He is a human being too. Your prophet is a human being. Do your, your prophet do poo poo too? You agree that because Ibn Kathir is a human being, it is possible he do poo poo. Do your prophet do poo poo? Can you translate poo, poo What do you mean? Poo, poo means say stupid things. Uh, I mean wrong. Yeah. Something no, not only wrong, wrong. Extremely wrong. Stupid. No. 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 He would never. Do. No. Are you uh, sure? He, he, okay. He, he, okay. He what is the okay? Wrong, okay. Which is okay. Worldly, okay. Worldly no problem. Not, what, not when you're a prophet, he, when he you're a, okay, wrong. hold on. When you're a prophet, he allows something. Is that coming from Allah as an order or not from Allah? When he commands something. Mm -hmm. Is it from Allah always, or it's sometimes he he have a mood? You know, he's moody. He fabricate things. He does advice from his own as well. Sometimes, yes. He yeah, does. but is it from Allah? Is it sponsored by Allah? No, he's when, inspired. When he when he advise something from him, that is not from from Allah. Is right. this one from Allah or from him? The temporary marriage, as you call it, marriage. Uh, if a man or woman agree, this is part of the deen, so it is from Allah. Yes. Okay. Is from what is the wisdom? What is the wisdom that a man and a woman? They can sleep together for three days, three nights. As I told you, the wisdom was because it was an extreme. My friend, situation. my friend, always there was war, and today there is war, and nothing changed. Is, do, do, do we don't have war no more now? So and, why and we cannot have it, why we cannot have it remote today? We have war. Everybody have war. No, name a country for the world for me does not have war. Why in, in the in, time of war you can have Dumuta in the time of Muhammad only? But after that, in Muslims those? always have war, always have war. This is a lie. You yeah. know, since when, yeah. since Muhammad, until now, you Muslim never stop having war. So what is the reason to say? You say to me, if the reason is war, then the war is a reason. Here we go. In yeah. Iraq, there's a war. In Syria, there's a war. In Pakistan, there's a war. In Libya, there's a war. Do you muta, do you do muta there? Is it halal to do muta? Because there's a war. First of, first of all, it was uh, for some people who really 
would not hold their desire it's not for everybody Secondly, there is always people they cannot hold their desire are you telling me that people who cannot hold their desire you you just admitted that this is about sex guys did he did you see how, how they tried themselves you just admitted that this is a pure sex there's no marriage there somebody he is so horny and he cannot hold himself but this is not an excuse because always there is people they cannot hold themselves so what they do do muta so if this is about certain people who cannot hold themselves, I can find you millions of people they cannot hold themselves. You Muslims following the devil, you give excuse as you wish, and obviously you excuse as stupid. How many people can now? How many people they cannot hold themselves today? Something? Are you saying only in the time of Muhammad people they cannot hold themselves? Can I say something now? Mm, go ahead. I mean, first, uh, first of all. Uh, I never you you trying to say that you just make some point against me actually I did actually say that that it was in the situations of war when they have their wives back home mm -hmm. so they were allowed of course I did never reject that it was something to do with sex or not of course not so mm -hmm. you try to you try to make up like you made a point against me you didn't actually and secondly now uh, we know all only three to six months after Muhammad Hassan uh, cancelled this muta. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, mutawatir hadith telling us he cancelled it. How many, Secondly, how, many, how many? How many times he cancelled? How many times he cancelled? How many times he cancelled? In those times, where different people were going there for years. How many times? Uh, question. 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 How many times your prophet he cancelled and he allowed it? Muta. Yeah. Muta. Uh, it's a mutawatir hadith that. Uh, the, the, uh, at the time of Haber, he cancelled the e eating the meat of donkey and Buddha. He cancelled both okay. of them at the time of Haber. And did he, he yes. did he allow it again? Uh, not to, to my information, no, he didn't allow it again. He did not? No, he didn't. Mm. What, no, if, he didn't. what if I show you he did? Okay, show me. What will happen then if I show you that he did again? Uh, are you going to show me authentic hadith or the I'm asking you. Difference I'm asking you. Okay, I'm asking. I'm asking yeah. you. Did Muhammad forbid the muta only once, and he allowed it only once? I say to my information, yes, he forbid it at the time of Khaybar, okay. and I believe that was only once. It's possible that I my information is lacking, hmm. but uh, to if, my information, if, if you're a prophet, I, he allow he it. He forbid it. Allow it. Forbid it. Allow it. Forbid. What is the point? Uh, well, then I say I have gone go look deep into it. Why he allowed it? What was the reason he allowed it? Then I'll go. I, I, to be honest, I'm going to no look that. But you say it. Me, you say no problem. You, you said that there are some people they cannot hold themselves. And you said to me, I am fabricating things, making it as if about sex. But you are the one who said it was because of a reason. They are in war, and there is people who they cannot hold themselves. Correct. I say you're fabricating about the prostitution. Don't okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Man. This is prostitution anyway. This is prostitution. This is prostitution. This is legally no, prostitution. That verse, that verse of the this Quran. Is, that verse and of the that Quran and that verse is about prostitution too. It says it clearly. It's, it's, it says it clearly. Forbid not your girls if they do. They do desire chastity. We can go. We can go and we can search right now in the hadith and we will find. There's there's a book. It's called Muwatta Malik. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. Okay. What the, what the, what the Malik is speak about prostitution? Is. What that book speak about prostitution? Do you know? You know, Mota Malik is not authentic. You know that. Ah, here we go, not authentic. Here we go. I mean, the Muslims, they, it, this is their guidance of their slavery. Suddenly, it became not authentic. Okay, we go to that. That's why I want you to want you to, to talk about your prophet, allowing you for three days, three nights, because simply you are picking up your cherries. You say, this is the one I like. This is the one I don't like. Here we go. You're a prophet. He and you are the one who said to me, the reason for that, there are some people they cannot hold themselves, hold himself what sexually, correct? And the situation of war, no problem in the situation of war, but they cannot hold and themselves Islam, in the Islam Islam Let me religion. ask you, let me ask me in the, Islam, in the, in the situation of war. He, Islam is a religion like let you do something less sinner than something major sinner. Oh, so Islam allows no. sin, but the, no, the, no, no, Islam no, no. allowed Islam sin with degrees. Islam understands human beings, and mm. instead of you going and raping women. Allows, okay. allows you to marry a woman okay. and give her a dowry and okay. marry her for three days. Okay. Rather than Let me ask you. Going and raping, raping women. All right. Let me ask you. Did Muhammad practice muta? Did Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam practice mm. muta? Mm. Uh, no. Mm. No. Mm. Nope. Mm. We will see that. Read with me this hadith, please. Sahih Muslim, okay. Yeah. Hati reported that Jibir bin Abdullah, um, yeah, Jibir bin Abdullah 
came to perform Umrah and we came to his abode and the people asked him about different things. And, and then they made a mention of temporary marriage, whereupon he said, yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar. Hmm. So Where Muhammad is dead, uh, Muhammad is dead, and Abu Bakr and Umar, and they are the Caliphate now, and they are practicing muta. Explain to us. Mm -hmm. We made mention of temporary marriage. Whereupon he said, yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage during the lifetime of the Prophet mm. and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar. Mm. Yes, this clearly says that it was even after his lifetime. Thank you. So what happened now? What happened? Marriage. If it's forbidden, if it's forbidden so, by the Prophet as Muslims, they claim, why you Muslims practice in muta after Muhammad by Abu Bakr and by Umar? Uh, and this is Sahih Muslim. Eh? This is Sahih Muslim, Hayat number 1405C. Okay, this is a. Um, can you show me the Hadith category if you don't mind? Here we go. This is the, the number. You see the number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I can't see them. Uh, okay, well, let, let me go back. Okay. Can you, you go see it up? You see, you, 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 up you see the number? Do you see the number? Okay, uh, this is yes, 1405C. Yeah, okay. okay, fair enough. Right. I think it's authentic. And this is the category. So, Sahih what we Muslim, from the here? book of marriage. Okay, so we learn from that yes, that so that that mut a never yeah. never been forbidden. Obviously, it's a lie, and you Muslims, you Muslims, you fabricate lies, and this is a sahih hadith, and this is yeah. an authentic. And Omar he practiced it, and Abu Bakr he practiced it, and Muhammad he practiced it, and you Muslims practice it, yeah, well, and the whole well, well, and this is not in the time of war because we practice it okay. always, always. It's not about war. Here we go. We practice it all the time, and what is that? It is a shameful behavior. It's a prostitution. You go to a woman, you offer her money. Let me ask you, in the case of Muta, is there a divorce? You ask me another question. If there, if there's a divorce, uh, no, to, to explain, to explain, to explain to people, to explain to people what Muta is. If, if there is a divorce, yeah. no divorce, right? Um, hang on, I have to tackle the question before. No, no, before if there is a divorce, please. No, 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 Abbas, please, important. please. No, no, no. It's very important. You can, you, we will go back. We have time. We have me. time until tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm here. My four wives in vacation. And four, my, my four, my no four mother in law, they go, went to do jihad. One after the other. I am when asking you, you step, is it true? Is it true? There is no. Is, I is it I is it true is it a true you're not going to come back to the, the no we will be back i promise you, say, you. okay okay i, I will no, go no, back no, no. i will go back for you what, what is that what do you want to say go you, ahead go you on. you say you said to me mm. do you know your prophet practiced muta mm. and my answer was no he didn't this hadith didn't say that he practiced muta that's the first thing i need to clarify so if i show you that your prophet he okay let, let, let us make it let us let us make it uh, make it clear if I show you that you're a prophet, he did muta. What you will do? Uh, if he practiced muta, what I would do? But I know he didn't practice muta. He I'm asking you, to, if yes, the prophet, I have to be yeah, yeah, yes. If he practices muta, then uh, he practices uh, the same thing what he tell the Muslims to do it. Okay, but what is the? Which is not, which is, which but is you not are. But, so why you are making time, the challenge? Okay, I so. know that he did it. Hmm. I know he didn't. Okay, I know he didn't. So he wouldn't change big, big thing, big time. But why he did it? He was in the war situation and all that. That might change. But that is not what he's done. It was haram? No, he's not a hypocrite telling everybody else you don't do it, but I'll do it. So, but I know for sure that he didn't do it. Secondly, hmm. I want to point another thing. What we prove this hadith proves to me that there is a contradiction among the hadiths. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Okay, what if we go in the Quran? Isn't it, is, is it in the Quran? The Hold on, you see, here, no we here, we here, we here, we here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, there's no contradiction. Obviously, it's a lie. All, all your let me tell you, there's no contradiction. All, all of your stories in Islam is a lie. Let me show you. Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad he says any Muslim woman should want to give her vagina to him, he can if her? Uh, uh, read that verse, please. Read the verse. It's not said whatever uh, the way you said it. Well, you can say whatever you want. The Muslim to try to look to, to make it look nicer, but obviously it says any woman she can offer herself to why the prophet. Why don't you? Why don't you write your own of Syria? You know, you have a very no problem. Here we go. It, no, I do not need. Will I, will you, I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. You like Ibn Kathir, don't you? When I, I respect Ibn Kathir, mm -hmm. Ibn Abbas, they all respect them. But okay. I say they so here we go. You don't like Ibn Kathir no more. So why you're saying to me this my interpretation? Here we go in front of you. Any Muslim woman, she can give her vagina to the Prophet so he can F her. 
is this his muta or not? Is that marriage? Okay, O Prophet, we have made lawful to you thy wives to whom thou hast paid their dowers, mm. and those whom thy right hand possess mm. out of the prisoners of war, meaning the, mm. the slaves of war, mm. uh, whom Allah has assigned, assigned to thee, mm. and daughters of the paternal uncles, aunts, uh, so the, these are the all you are allowed to marry. Mm. Uh, where does it say that the last bit you... The, you there's say? nowhere it says uh, allowed to marry, and this is about a woman offering herself for no, no. sex. Okay. Where? Where okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's in front of me. You don't speak Arabic. This is the problem. The, the Arabian translation is a lie. There's no. Oh, there's no yeah. marriage. It says it's lawful for you. Your wives already. They are wives. They are already wives. This is talking about sex. Are you going to be marry your wives? Are you? It says in the oh. Ahlana laka azwajaka. Do you know what azwajaka mean? Your wives, correct? Yeah, okay. So what the verse is speaking about is what is lawful for him. It's not about marrying them. They are already his wives. So it's lawful for you. Your wives, the one who you pay them their dowry, and those which means sex here. Yes. This is about sex, and those who they are right hand process. You can have sex with them. They are not wives, and then and oh, any oh, oh, hold. Oh, they are wives. They are wives. Who, okay, are wives. name for me one wives. of the slaves of Muhammad, uh, as an example. Mary the Copt. She was she was Muhammad's favorite sex slave. Did he marry her? Uh, that was a given gift from the. Doesn't Egyptian matter. Did he marry her? Did he marry her? She is his slave. Uh, no, he didn't marry her. Okay, no, so thank you. Let us continue then. And then, and you're the, the daughter of your cousin, and the daughter of your cousin from your uncle's side, your etc. 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 And then, and any believing woman, she gave herself to the prophet. It doesn't say to marry her, and it says, Yes, thank you, to if her, yes, thank you, is to if her. It's a, it's a continual verb. Do you marry a woman every day, the same woman? No. There's no marriage here. This is yes, thank you. Had to if her Khalis on Laka Mindul is the privilege only to the Prophet. Now I want you to name for me one woman she gave herself to the Prophet as a gift for sex and she became his wife. Name one. Mm. Okay. Who? Uh no, I can't name you any. But can Why? I ask you a question? Because none can of them is wives, because none of can them ask... is a wife. Those can are for you... those are for Muta. Can I ask you a question? The different here. Same. Hold on. Same. Can, I the, the, can I ask you? Hold, hold on. The different here between no, the muta. Hold on, man. I can't hold on. Wait, wait. The so different, the different you. between the muta of your prophet <laughs> and the muta of the Muslims. The prophet he get it for free. The muta of the the Muslims they have to pay, and this is Quran. Why the prophet? Let me, let me ask you. Yeah. What what is the benefit? The what is the benefit of the translation? Okay, no problem. No problem. Please. What is the benefit that will do to your prophet religion? That he is allowed to sleep with women who offer themselves. What that would do as a benefit for Islam? Okay. Can you go to the translation, please? Because okay. I want to make a point. Mm. Now you asked me a very good question. Uh, <coughs> name me one woman that she he slept with, and he married her. No, yes? no, a woman, no, no, a woman. No, 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 no this is not a question. Me. Not a question. A woman she offer herself wahhabat from those yes. who wahhabat themselves. She became his wife. Who? Okay. No. Yeah, I say I don't know. Okay. Mm, all right. Now my question is to you, and and you seems to be like you made some great point here. Mm. Oh look, he couldn't name anyone. Mm. Now my reverse question to you mm. is: Name me one woman who offered uh, to the prophet, and he slept with her. Are you are you going to find you all of them? No, no, no. Name me one woman. So are you saying to me, your prophet, he may, he he said you can sleep with me, but he did not sleep with anyone? Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank ah, you. That's, okay. That's Allah, Allah, Allah says to him. If mm. anybody come and offer you, and then but but name me one he okay. does. But he you just but he said did. something very stupid. You just said something very stupid. Allah, he said no, to Muhammad, didn't. hold on. I know, you just said exactly what I said. You just exactly said, oh, said, hold on, let me talk. Say, let me talk. You're going to say Allah is allowing him to sleep with the woman. Oh, let I know me, exactly. Let me, I know that's how I said that. Let me talk. Let me talk. You just said that Allah, he allowed him, but no women, they slept with him, correct? Yep. Okay. I didn't say anything stupid. Do Allah knew the future? Allah knows everything. Of okay, if he knew that there's nobody will sleep with him anyway, so what's the point of saying any woman she can sleep with you of those who offer themselves? Now you say something very stupid. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because did any of the Muhammad's uh, wife divorce him? Did he divorce any of his wife? My wives? friend, I'm asking you, don't change the topic and we will go there. No, okay. I'm not changing the topic. Yeah. You're saying, talking about Allah is knowing the Yes, future. Muhammad, Muhammad, Allah. he wanted to divorce his wife, but Aisha, she prevented him because Sauda been to them. As she offer, she asked him that Sauda, she offer her day for me and I can show you the reference from authentic uh -huh. hadith from uh -huh. Sahih Bukhari. 
That's not the question. Question was, did he divorce any of his wife? He was going to divorce. No, no. Did he? Yes or no? Well, almost he did. Well, no, almost is. And not let me and let me let me let me tell you yes why he did no? not. Let me tell you why he did not because Muhammad is a very jealous Answer man. No. Why Muhammad did not divorce Answer his wife? Because if no. they divorce no. him, they will sleep. No. They will sleep with a new man. Is that correct? <laughs> Answer is no. He didn't divorce any of his Why? Wives. Why? So why? 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 Because Quran, because he don't allow anyone. Because he don't hold on. Because he don't allow anyone to f his right. wives after him. Is that a true or I'm lying? No, no, but no, no. Oh, man. I'm, I'm asking you. Is it a true? Is it a true I that Muhammad? Is it is it a true? Is it is it is it a true that the Prophet, if he divorce his wife or he die, nobody can f his wives? Yes or no? That's right. Yes. Why? Ah. Why? Uh, because they are the mothers of. The believers. What does that mean? It's like it's like I tell you why. It's like uh, a king has mm. wives, queen, yeah. Okay. And after the king die, then the somebody who was subordinates of the kings, they're going to have a uh, queen as their uh, wives. So it's like mm. queen coming down in level. So in the same way, Muhammad's wives were the mothers of the believers, the, the wives of the prophets. Mm. So marrying anybody non-prophet is like coming down from okay. their level. Let us see how we so your, their own. Let us see how we okay, your answer. Their own is. Respect. Let us see how we strip at your answer. Okay. If we ask a Muslim, if a woman, her husband, he die, why it's better for her to marry? They will say to prevent herself from sin. Is that correct? No. What are you talking about? Man? If a Muslim the woman, woman she, if a Muslim woman, if a Muslim woman, she, her husband die, isn't it yeah. better for her? To marry because that will prevent her from sin, isn't it? Your prophet, he said that it's better for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I misunderstood your question. Yes, okay. yes of course. So that here we go. The prophet wife, the prophet, the prophet, the prophet wives, Muhammad is dead. Aisha, she is 18 years old when Muhammad he died. Muhammad he forbid his wife from doing sex legally or illegally, correct? And they will get reward for that, okay. And what they will, okay, they will do get reward where. Why Muhammad he don't hold himself from sex? Why a Muslim man he can marry as many as he wish? But when it's come to the wives of Muhammad, here we go. The husband he die, and the girl she is 17, going in the 18, and yet she cannot marry, which is right for every human being to have. Why Muhammad is in the grave, but he's he's holding those human beings as his slaves. So what if he, she was his wife? Why Muhammad he marry Khadija? Khadija, was, uh, Khadija, if Muhammad is a person who don't agree that someone should sleep with his wife, isn't it Khadija was a previously married? She was, yes. Okay, with two husbands, correct? With two husbands before him, which means two men they slept with her. Yeah. If the honor of the Prophet will be so disgu that, will be disgusting for the honor of the Prophet that his wife is sleeping with the other man, what is the difference will make if you sleep before or after? You see how silly what you just said? How nonsense what you just said? You are the one who's you saying say to me that we should not no, 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 we should, no, no, no. not sleep with them. I'm, I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Mm. None of the wives of the prophets ever slept with another man. What do you and mean? You know what I mean? What do you mean? You know what I mean? When Khadija slept with other men, she was not a wife of the prophet. Mm. Really? So none of the wives of the prophet ever slept. Sauda had a husband before. Mm. Even the Jewish Sophia. He all of them. All before. of them. They have wives. Uh, all all of them. Maria, the only one who don't have a husband before. Maria. Yes. So okay. Meaning, meaning, meaning. Once they become wife, mm. after that they didn't slept with anyone. Mm. So his his honor has not. If you talk about the so honor, you are saying to me, you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, your honor will be destroyed if your wife after you she marry a new husband. No, I'm not a. Prophet man, come on, what are you talking so about? So what is making you, you special if you're a prophet? What does that mean? Are you are you above mankind if you are a prophet? So you're telling me prophet? Are you above you mankind? What, what so what is the big deal? Like you know, here we go. This vagina is reserved for you. Your honor is there in that it's hole. Like, it's like a king. The king, king he have a hole. The guy is the yeah. king, he have a vagina, and nobody can touch the vagina of that king after his death. You are saying that to me. No, no, no. I'm just saying the special. Position king have a special why no, this is no special position. Yes. No, this so is not true. A king, a king, he die, his wife, she can get married. This is a lie. So now, while you're a I prophet, he will not allow his wife to marry again. Yeah. Tell me one thing when mm. the queen, a, a woman, and a wife of a king, she has special honor. Yes, when she marries somebody less than the king, mm. 
then she is not in that special position. Is well, she? your prophet was not a king and he was a savage man. Isn't it a woman who Muhammad tried to force her into sex? She said to him that you are a savage and you are from the trash. Is that true? Prophets, prophets are more special than kings ever can. Isn't it true? Isn't talking? it true that the woman she said to your prophet, you are a savage and trashy person? Um, many people say many horrible things to him, of course. No, he tried to force her into sex. He said, How for a queen she gave herself to a suka, which means the trashy. You are a piece of a trash. Is that true? Uh, people call Jesus uh, possessed by the my demon. friend. Jesus did oh. not try to sleep with women and did not force them into sex. I'm asking you. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true that you're a prophet? He of you know he tried to sleep with the women, and she said to him, "How a, a queen? She is a queen. How for a queen like me will sleep with a savage, trashy person like you? I'm I, I'm I, I am making up things. I don't even know this hadith, but I say you're lying. How about that? Okay, let's wrong. see." Yeah, let's find the hat. I, I, I don't think he met any queen in his lifetime. <laughs> there was no queens in that Arabia. No, my what friend, are you, talking about? you are you are an ignorant man. Okay, okay, fair enough. But uh, can I tell you about your no? Before, Actually, before, let us go and oh, see the hadith about before. the one you Why say can online. I ask you a question about your body. Hold on, man. hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold one on. question. Hold on, hold on. We, we're not I done. We're not you done. about five, six times before. Okay, Never, hold ever on. you hold on. from the Bible. Hold on. Will you allow me one question from the Bible? Yeah, just to I, refute you know, your yeah, yeah, gonna, actually you are accusing your own God. You just want to change your topic. Hold on. So, oh, okay. Well, hmm. I, I let me address this, but can will you allow me one question from the Bible? I just want to see. Are we, are we done? Defend. Are we done with the muta? No, we are not talking about muta right now. We are going everywhere, and I'm going with you. Yeah, we are not. We are, no, I'm, we are, I'm a no, we are with the muta. We are still I'm with the muta. Shy. I'm not shy of my religion at all. Mm. I will. I, I will. Uh, you are uh, not uh, shy. The, okay, you are not shy. I will hold okay. the devil by the horns. I'm, all right. I'm, I'm okay, 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 okay. Right. Because I know Islam is the truth, mm. and and all these ignorant Muslims sometimes come and they. You show the okay. guy, oh, look at the orphan. Oh, oh you can marry okay. orphan. The guy say, oh, because of orphan, I'm leaving Islam. What a stupid uh, man he was. He didn't even, even ask you uh, what is the interpretation, what Ibn Abbas says about that. We didn't think it is about that. You say, oh, orphan, I'm leaving Islam. What a stupid man. Is okay. that what is religion? We're better off without people like that. All right. Islam is better off with Obviously your prophet is a perverted man he he is willing to sleep with all the women and even they are married to many men before him But you cannot sleep with his wives and this is an offer from God and when I asked you why Allah he said to Muhammad any believing women any believing I'm jealous I, I, I'm disgusted with this behavior what just uh, jealous? Oh. if I am jealous I will convert to Islam and I have four four of, of your sister for me in my bed this is how faith is cut. I refuse to be part of this. If I am a if I am a jealous, I will convert to Islam wow. and I will go Jesus and marry four four, four women, four women in my bed, four women in my bed CP. right now. If I convert to Islam, and this CP. is why I reject Islam. Listen, listen, CP. listen, listen, listen. So you think it's filthy? So you think it's filthy behavior? It's, Islam is a filthy behavior. You filthy behavior. When you say when you so, say, so you let, let let me ask you, let me ask you, wrong, is the sexual the pleasure wrong, is the sexual privilege to your prophet was only privilege to Muhammad? Yes or no? Sexual privilege? Yeah, like a woman, she can give herself to the prophet. Is that only for the prophet or no? Uh, according to the Quran, yes. Okay, why? Why? What he? Why he need? He have thirteen wives. He have many sex slaves. Why he need additional a privilege about sex? What for? That's for the marriage. If some what marriage? He have already many wives. Yeah, and he can have more wives. Okay, he now can. those are women. You they are why? offering themselves. You they are not why? wives. I, I say to you, name for me as an example. Um, Salim, she offered herself to the Prophet. Why the Muslim don't count her as a as a as a wife? Okay, where is that? He says Um Salim, and he never married with hey, her. But okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. And first of all, the psychology behind it, philosophy behind it, uh -huh. that many women desire to marry with a special man of God. Is it, is it a shameful I mean, thing? I, is it a shameful thing to offer yourself in Islam to a man to sleep with you? In marriage. In marriage is not shameful. What marriage? There's no marriage. Not even one woman of those. They, not, my, my friend, don't, 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 don't stop, stop lying to yourself. Here we go. This is your I'm prophet not, wife. I this is this is Aisha. This is Aisha saying, isn't a woman ashamed? Uh, is it a, isn't a woman ashamed 
that she will she will give herself to a man do you see it wouldn't doesn't a woman doesn't a woman a lady feel ashamed of presenting herself to a man there's no marriage they are presenting me, themselves to a man who is this man muhammad why let me read it uh hola bint hakim was yeah. one of those ladies who presented themselves to the prophet for for mm. for, mm. for marriage my marriage. friend my friend my, my friend it doesn't say here we go in arabic it doesn't say just to show you how stupid oh, you are with respect to you it you says know, so hunna. there's no marriage i turn you to show me the word marriage do you see the word marriage okay do you see the so word marriage do you see the word marriage they gave themselves this is a false translation continue why Aisha if this is marriage why she is saying isn't it a woman she is ashamed to give herself if this yeah, is marriage all scholars all these scholars they don't know Arabic Amazing. who is a scholar who is a scholar who is a scholar this is English you translation know. you donkey this is English translation Can I? the one who translate this is a scholar now <laughs> Show me the word marriage in Arabic. Uh, Here we go. In the front, no, in the front this, of me, this, uh, my, my friend, in the front of me, show me the word marriage. Here we go. You say I'm not your friend. Am I a friend or not friend? I'm not I, I say I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. Oh, okay. I don't mean uh, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I, you, because I think you have, you've been psychotic. Your psychotic yeah, is uh, the one. Okay, let us go to psychotic. Isn't it your prophet who imagined I, himself having sex, but in fact he did not? Okay. Well, hang on a minute. Um, this is those writing these hadith books. I'm sure they know Arabic, yeah. Okay. So I'm go. I'm going to go by what Sy the Mr. Psychostic, Michael Psychostic. Muhammad he asked women to sleep with him, but yet he cannot have sex. Explain that to me, Mr. Can Psychostic. I, can I read the hadith? How can Muhammad? Hadith? How Muhammad? How how Khawla ibn uh, 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 Musalim? She came to Muhammad. She opened her legs. She said, "Prophet, if me." And then Aisha, she felt so bad. She said, "What kind of a woman? She is ashamed. Not ashamed." Of asking for such a thing, and then we know later that Khalid bin Hakim is the is the anti of Muhammad. Is it this woman? She is the anti of Muhammad. Is that your hadith or my friend? Is it Khalid bin Hakim? Is it is it Khalid bin Hakim is the anti of your prophet? You change the hadith, you know. I'm not. This is here we go. The hadith in front of you are back. Okay. Can I read it? Can is this read woman it? who yeah, offer herself? Question. If this woman is this woman who offer himself to the prophet, is she? The anti of your prophet. I want to read this hadith. Go ahead. I want to read this hadith. Yeah, okay. Khala mm. bint Hakim was one of those ladies who presented themselves to the prophet for mm. marriage. Aisha Radiallahu said, "Doesn't a lady feel ashamed for presenting herself to a man? But when the words, uh, uh, O Muhammad, uh, you may postpone uh, that you please, was revealed." Aisha Radiallahu said, "O oh Allah's messenger, I do not see, but that your Lord hurries in pleasing you." Mm. Okay, that's Aisha as a wife, as, mm. a, as a jealous. I um, mean, wives can be jealous. She mm. says, why Muhammad Sassam is, is given this thing, uh, permission? And But remember, marriage for, for marriage. It does not say that he slept with a woman without marriage. So your accusation mm. that he slept with a woman without marriage is not in the hadith. It, it doesn't say that. Either he married her or he didn't marry her. Or either he slept her. You want to, you need to show okay, me. Okay, show me, the, show me the rest of the story. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I go about what your Islamic reference showing. Khawla bint Hakim is the yeah, auntie of your prophet and she is offering her prophet. You are saying that here, she is offering herself to a marriage. How Khawla bint Hakim, she is his auntie and she is offering herself into marriage as you claim. Was one of the ladies. Okay, uh, now you need to show me the Khawla bint Hakim is a, is not only auntie, but it's a very close relation auntie. Not only auntie. Well, oh, remember oh, the words. Okay. Of, remember the words of the Quran, which says that the which are prohibited for you to marry and which are not. So show me this Khawla bint Hakim is her his aunt and the close aunt, uh, blood relation, that which is not allowed in Islam. Show mm. me that. Okay, it is make your case. All right. you make a make a claim. You need to show me. Okay, Allah is... bin the Hakim was his aunt and the close relation, which is not allowed in Islam. Hmm. Okay, here we go. You can't. I even don't know, but okay. I know. Okay, okay, sure okay, you can't. okay, okay. Here we go. Here we you go. Make a claim, ba, 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 ba. We don't say things without proof, my friend. Here we go. It will take me a second, and it will show you, and you will be sorry. One minute before you go anywhere. Oh no! Before I go anywhere, here we go. Oh, I got, I got the reference. I got the reference. I got the reference in the front of my eyes, and here oh. we go. This is the book. Musnad al Khawla bin to Hakim. Shut up. Musnad al Khawla bin to Hakim. It says here, 
إن خولة بنت حكيم إن خولة بنت حكيم السلمية هي إحدى خالات النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سألت النبي عن المرأة تحتلم she asked the prophet about a woman she see a water and she have orgasm in her vagina explain to me how this happened oh explain what say that again she asked the prophet she asked the prophet she asked the prophet about seeing water in her vagina because she have orgasm she is his she is his auntie huh she is one of the auntie of your prophet oh i see so any woman asked her friend, what any woman ask? What any woman ask? I show you the hadith. I show you the hadith says that she offered herself to the Prophet. What's wrong with you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how she is the auntie of Muhammad and yet she is offering herself to sleep with him? No, where does it say this is his auntie with the blood relation? It's in the front here. It says auntie. What do you mean that blood relation? It says none of my business. None of my none of my business. This is your business. Okay. You know what the Christians normally blame Muslims? That we always hide behind Arabic. My and friend, actually, this is isn't this is what is isn't it, this is what Muhammad Hijab he said to David Wood. And ah, now I know this is coming. You do not know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. Suddenly now you and cannot do. Is that my fault? At least David no, Wood. You... At least David Wood. He is not a Muslim. You are a Muslim. You pray to Allah in Arabic. You recite Quran in Arabic. You ask Allah in Arabic, and yet you do not know Arabic. Who is the donkey here? And now I'm asking you, did did Khawla bin to Hakim offer herself to the Prophet in sex? Yes or no? Uh, for marriage okay what marriage where is the word marriage oh you see you're hiding there anyway listen, and how she offer herself in marriage but she you is his auntie me. now hold on let me you ask you me let me ask you okay let me ask you let, let me ask you did, did the same woman come to your prophet and she said to him that she is having orgasm and she is touching herself should she wash mm -hmm. is that the, the same woman why this woman why she is horny and why she is Arabic. filthy? Why, why I'm showing you the English now. Why this woman? She is, is here. We go. Aunt. This is Umm Salim. Uh, you know, she is the same woman. She is coming to Muhammad, saying to Muhammad oh. that she is having orgasm after touching herself. Mm. Mm. Is not a shame. The truth is, but what a way! This is not. This is Umm Salama. What are you talking about here? Umm Salama is the you wife of show. Muhammad. You idiot. Umm Salim is the one who's asking. Umm Salam went to the apostle. Yeah, who's Umm Salam here? Who's Umm Salam? Lord, you need to show me. My friend, Umm Salam. Okay, okay, okay. Umm Salam, Umm Salam, and Umm Salim. This is the translation of the Muslim stupid translation. It says in Arabic, "Inna Umm Salim." This is the same woman. The same woman. Oh. Okay. Look. I don't believe you. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let us say. I don't believe. No problem. Would, why, what, why kind of, you, what kind of what kind of what kind of a woman? Over there is different. My friend, my Khawla friend. is different name, and so Muslim is different. Why should I believe you? Khawla, I'm sorry, she is not the same one. Well, prove it to me. This is the same one. Okay, we will. Me so we will keep going. Aunt. We will keep going. Each time I say something to you, say prove it to me, and I prove it to you. And you say, I say to me, I don't read Arabic, and I don't know. I am a donkey. I'm a stupid. Now let, let focus with me. Focus with me. What you kind of a woman? Focus, what kind of me. what kind you of a woman? Me, I'm going to prove to you that this is our, his auntie. I showed you. Here we go. Here we go. It's in the front of you. What about you? Call you make a Muslim who speak Arabic to join you in the in the conversation and let me talk. talk. Can you do that? I'll, that don't tell me don't I, tell me from I, all I, the muslims don't tell me don't no, don't no tell me fair. don't tell me from all the muslims you know that even one of them he speak arabic what what is your point the point is i am showing you the reference or oh, what you say no, to no. me i do not know arabic wait, 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 can you make a muslim can Khawla you make a muslim where does it say Khawla bint hakim is his auntie where's the arabic word for it you? says here it says here it's highlighted in, in yellow. Wahia Ehda Khalat un Nabi. What that means? What would that mean? Why yeah the Khalat in Nabi? Khalat mean anti. She is one of the antis of the Prophet. And she is the same one. And let me get you busted. And let me get you busted. And she is the same one. Sa'alat in Nabi, shut up. Let me let me get busted. And she is the same one, she said, Sa'alat in Nabi of a woman, she have a wet dream. And this is exactly is shut up, shut up, Ahadi? shut up. Okay. And this is the same women, same women here appearing in the story. You know, you're going, you're, going have a, you know you're going to have a heart attack. You know that. You need to calm down. <laughs> Chill out a bit. <laughs> My friend, 
Muslims are yeah, a little bit Islam yeah, left I and right. Look how filthy, look how filthy your prophet is. So look what we will jump. We, 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 we spoke about Muhammad allowing prostitution. Force not your girls into prostitution. We asked this guy, which interpretation you like? He said, Ibn Kathir. You said to him, do you like Ibn Kathir? He said, only in that interpretation. Now, if we go to Ibn Kathir in English and we read it in English, are you going to agree with him? Yes or no? When is my time going to come? When is my time going to come? I'm going to ask you a question. When can I have a turn? So do you agree that prostitution in Islam is legal? Yes or no? After all this conversation. Oh, I almost forgot about we talking about prostitution. No, we are all all this conversation about you, you because Muta because Muta hold on because Muta is a prostitution. Women offering themselves to the Prophet is a prostitution. Uh, by, uh, the uh, of, uh, uh, by the grace of Allah, uh, 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 Muhammad uh, uh, as a as a messenger of God, hmm. he he make it uh, cancelled uh, according to one mutawatir hadith. But okay, you hold show on. Me hadith which okay, cash, let me ask which you why which why he cancelled it? Why he can why? Okay, let us go. Why he cancelled it? He's a messenger of Allah. Okay, but Allah, he said you do, Muta. That, Which one is more important for you? How Muhammad can oh, cancel Allah teaching? The messengers are there to interpret uh, the things of Allah, what Allah allowed. My friend, if Allah allowed, who is Muhammad to say, I am not going to allow? Isn't it the Quran says you do, Muta? That is a very good question. Who was Muhammad? That is a very important question. Who hmm. is Muhammad? Hmm. He is messenger of Allah. Okay, how the messenger of and Allah he, can delete he, he, that the he, order he of Allah? Is the, is the is the messenger of Allah is higher than Allah? How Allah he say you no. do muta and then Muhammad he says you don't do muta. That's why Allah subhanahu wa taala say obey Allah and obey His messenger. Oh, so so so, so which one which Allah one we obey? obey his messenger. No problem. So which one we obey Allah or Muhammad? If in case there's contradiction, you are the one who said to me if before that if there's a contradiction in the hadith with the Quran, we take the Quran, correct? Absolutely. Okay, yes. here we go. The Quran says you do muta. The hadith says you don't do muta. So how no, come no. you take the Quran now, no. not, but you take the hadith? How come you, you take what is contradiction in the Quran over the Quran? You Muslims that are hypocrites. It. When you want That's to run away from the hadith, you say, oh, this hadith contradicts the Quran, so we don't accept it. Here we go. The Quran says you do muta. You know, can I, can I answer that? Can hmm. I answer you? I, I'm taking a lot of your time. I'm sorry about that, but can I answer No that? problem. Uh, you know, I heard you once. You said a beautiful thing, and you say many things. You say very good things about it. You sound like a like a proper Muslim when you talk about things. Mm -hmm. And you said, like you know, when, when I read things, I don't just read them. I swim in them. I go into deep into things. Mm -hmm. I swim along to understand better things. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. You you don't do that when you read Islam and the Quran. Mm -hmm. I tell you why. Mm -hmm. You said Allah says you do muta. And Muhammad also said, you don't do muta. Mm. And he said, don't. So which one you follow? First of all, I'll let me correct you. Allah says you can do muta. Mm. And hadith also say you can do muta in the beginning. Yes. Okay. But Allah never says you muta is there for, for you forever. Why? First of all, it never says. That. Yeah, Allah allowed that at that time. Okay. Allah says that. Hold you on, do muta. hold on. And then before you continue, before you continue, messenger came along. Before you continue, before you messenger came along on, and he says, on. now I'm making this haram for you. Mm. Okay. He as a messenger. Okay, hold on, hold, he, he, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, your prophet did he ever made forbidden or lawful or unlawful by and uh, Allah did not agree with him? Uh, you're going to tell me about that he uh, promised that he's not going to eat honey or he's not going to sleep with his wife. That's what you're going to say. So yeah, <laughs> mm, yeah. Did he yeah, forbid yeah. things which is not you, lawful you, for him? You, your understanding is wrong. Okay. What is that verse he, about? He didn't make he, he, he didn't make haram for all of us. Mm. He just says, okay, I'm not going to eat it. And Allah never says. Eat, it, eat that, what? Eat what? Well, what people say is about honey, and some people say it's sleeping with his wife, a sex slave. Oh, sorry, not sex slave. Sorry, mm. it's, uh, Maria. Uh, there are two different interpretations. One mm. one interpretation says mm. it was the wife's. It says you're smelling your honey smells. Hmm. So he said, okay, I'm not going to eat honey. But anymore. isn't it you Muslim? Yes. You follow the Sunnah. Whatever Muhammad he forbid, you forbid. If he forbid it, all uh, of you he, follow. Forbid, no, 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 no. When he when he order us not hmm. to do that, then if he order something for, if he says something for himself, hmm. that is up to himself. Okay. He can. But, he can. Okay. He can. But, he cannot okay. do it. It's, okay. It's no. Up to him. That's, that's Sunnah that, of the Muhammad. But when you say that Muhammad he forbid himself from having sex with his slave. And Allah, he said to him, why you forbid yourself from having sex with your slave? Why Allah is saying that to him? No, well, there are two different interpretations. Which one you I like, Ibn Kathir or which one? Which one you like, Ibn no. Kathir? No, no, no. 
Uh, read whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm telling you both. Hmm. One is this that he never says, I'm never going to sleep with this woman. Hmm. He said, I am not going to sleep in your house. That's really? what he promises. That's a lie. Because he, he, because he was in the high house of Hafsa. Okay, think. show me the reference. Uh, I I read in the um, mm. tafsir. No, which tafsir? Um, which tafsir? Correct me. Correct me. Look, let's say. Correct me. Uh, what I say, if I'm wrong, what I said. Mm. Correct me then. Mm. Well, I, I read it. No problem. He promised. Okay. I think it's Jalalain. I think it's Jalalain. Uh, Jalalain. Okay, we will go to Jalalain. No I problem. think it's in Jalalain. No problem. That he says to his wife, "I'm not going to. Be, don't tell anybody else. I'm not going to sleep with her." And because he was in 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 her, in her house, no house problem. of Hafsa. We will go to Jalalain, my friend. Let us see. But but what's your point here? The, the point understand. is the point is that your prophet he ordered he said um, he just to make his wife happy because they were mm -hmm. so upset for his perverted man. He said I'm not. I swear I will not sleep with her. But then after that, he mm -hmm. uh, uh, he got horny, and he broke his oath and he fabricated a verse saying Allah told me Allah told me why you are forbidding her. What I can do? She is lawful for you. This is a jalali, my friend. Is that a jalali? Is that a Jalani? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, well, I didn't read it. I, I can't see it if it says Jalani. Why? Read it. Oh, here we go. It says in front of me, a Jalani. It says a Jalani. Okay. Uh, yes, it All does. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Prophet, why you forbid that God made lawful for you in the terms of your Coptic hand, uh, handmaid, Maria, when mm. they lay with her in the house of Hafsa, who had been away, but when, uh, when upon re return, finding out become upset, and by the fact this is had taken in a place in her own house and in her bed by saying she is unlawful for me seeking by making her unlawful for you please your wives so Allah Allah the God of Islam is here mm -hmm. confessing that Muhammad was having sex in the bed of Hafsa correct mm -hmm. okay when Hafsa wrong. was away correct yeah. Okay, Hafsa, she That's came back, house. she came back and she found Muhammad in her bed if in that woman. Now, yeah. Muhammad, he says, I swear by Allah, I will not if her no more. Mm, she's unlawful. Okay, she's unlawful for me. Okay, that's it. She's unlawful. Speaking Allah, he made a verse. Unlawful. Allah, okay, Allah, is... okay, Allah, he made a verse saying, Why you are saying she's unlawful for you when Allah, he made her lawful for you? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Here, my challenge is for you. I challenge show me mm -hmm. one verse in the Quran. It says that a slave which is a gift is lawful for a Muslim to sleep with. Uh, no, well, that says what your right hands possess. No, right hand possess is only captive. Don't lie. Right hand no, possess is only. Right hand possess is only captive. Okay, which interpretation means you like me? Okay, right hold on. Which in, means... which interpretation you like me to show you? No, Choose for I me the best interpretation, interpretation you like. Want, Hold on. I, I don't. I don't Sss. want any interpretation. No, you want interpretation, brother. You have to cast your interpretation. I want Quran. You, the Quran, I yes. Malakat Aymanakum is only, only slave girls from war. Only. Okay, show me the verse. I challenge me. you to choose interpretation. That, for that, me. No, no, show me. The, no, no, show me the verse of the Quran. We say when it says only right hand possess, meaning only the slaves from the booty of the war. Show me that. See, a second ago, when I showed you the the the, the verse about, uh, uh, it says that only like uh, it says, uh, 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 forbidding for you to uh, uh, don't force, sorry, force not your girls to do prostitution unless if they choose a chastity. You said to me, show me where it says, where it says you can do prostitution, right? Well, it says that. Yeah. And you said to me, this yeah. is your interpretation, and now you are giving interpretation of yourself. You are saying to me, oh, show me where it says, you are, you are saying to me, show me where it says that Malakat Aymanakum mean only captive of war. You see how hypocrite you are? Uh, different, different, different with, no, isn't, it isn't it you? Uh, uh, isn't, me, isn't, isn't it you who asked me? Isn't it you who asked me? Isn't it you who asked me to go to Ibn Kathir? Can we go to Ibn Kathir to check the same thing or no? For your own okay. facility, okay, I'll, my I'll, friend. Okay, forget I'll about the Mikathir. You don't like a Mikathir. What about a Jalalain? Is, is, okay, is it okay to go to a Jalalain? Ah, shut up. Which which okay. interpretation in the world and the whole world agree with you? Name one. Okay. okay, I'm going to go interpretation, but before I say this thing, I will go interpretation. But before I go interpretation, one thing is for sure mm. this verse, mm. which 
your right hand possess mm. it did not clearly anywhere in the quran says that that means your uh, booty from the world but that's for mm. sure quran never says right hand possess mean booty from the world that's clear yes now we can go to any interpretation you like what what what, what? say again uh, you say you say right hand possess only means the slaves from war yes that's yeah. what you said yes yeah, yeah. according to you i say i ask you show me where it says in the quran you, one thing is we understand is not clearly says anywhere in the okay so quran, what we would do now what, your right what we would do now mean okay no, that, that's fine that's fine okay that's what we would do now no no shouldn't, shouldn't we go shouldn't we go quran, okay hold on so how we would understand what how we would understand who is the right hand process according to you now what we would do you as a muslim as long the Quran does not make it clear how you will find what is the real mean right hand I'm telling you right hand possess means slave that's it okay slave what slave what okay hold on hold on I'm asking you I'm asking hold on okay what kind what kind of a slave what kind of a slave okay what kind of a slave is it slave from war or a slave from buying and selling or a gift you cannot buy a you can't buy a slave to be your slave you cannot do this that there's somebody who no, 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 you no, cannot no, somebody who's no, no, no. someone who's already a slave you can buy a slave but you cannot make a slave a free person apart from the war so if somebody give you hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you cannot make you cannot make someone a slave you cannot make a slave far from the war which means you capture people no, no, and you slave you them can't, you can't make a free person your slave unless it's in the war okay you can't just so say, here okay, we go you just confess person. that those are a slave of war yeah what are you, reading? you just say to me that you cannot make a free man unless it is a free person a slave unless it's a war is that all i said you, you this is what you said what, repeat again no, go no, ahead no, no. i say i said a few things i didn't say i said you cannot make a free person mm. your slave unless it be from the war or you can buy who's already a slave you can buy that slave or somebody give you a gift who's a slave Mm. That is all allowed in Islam, and that is all what your right hand possess. And Maria was that; she mm. was given by the Egyptian, uh, I think, queen, king of Alexandria or king or whatever you call them. Mm. Uh, he gave the present two mm. slave girls to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mm. He kept Maria, and he gave another one to another his companion. Mm. So yes, she was his slave uh, mm. in that sense, mm. in the complete sense. So how we right will solve this problem after all this talk? Blah blah blah. Which interpretation would like me to read for you? No, the what we understood right now. So you are saying to me, are you saying to me all interpretation agree with me and they don't agree with you? I'm not saying that. I'm saying okay, so I'm asking you, what interpretation agree with you? What which interpretation agree with you that right hand process the malikat aymanakum does not mean inclusively only slave from war? Which interpretation agree with you? Okay, uh, I am not um, well versed in interpretation, so read any interpretation and let's okay. analyze it because your right. understandings are most of the time I find very twisted understanding. All right, let us go and see. Which, 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 verse, which verse? Which verse you want me to show you? Here we go. All those verses, all those verses in front of us, speaking about right hand process. Which one you like me to, to just to show you? I'm not. I don't any, care which one. Any, any you like. Give okay. me your best shot. Chapter twenty-three, verse number six, as an example. This is short. This will be easy to read. Twenty-three. 20. Six. Verse number okay. 23 verse 6 okay right. oh, 23 36 you said Sorry. 23 36 my friend mm -hmm. okay read with me Illa ala 23 6 not 20 uh, 36 23 6 no no it's okay I, I i i'm i'm not using any other source i'm just watching yours okay And which uh, interpretation you like me to show you? Any Jalalain? You mentioned Jalalain many times, right? Yeah, yeah, no problem. What about Maududi? You don't read Maududi anymore. Hmm. <clears throat> By the way, you have blocked me. Why you block me? I'm calling from my daughter's. Uh, because you are always like a kid, you know. You jump from like, because all of you, you jump like a monkey from a place to a place. Look where we were. Look where we end. Here we go. Okay. This is the interpretation yeah, of Ajila Lane, my friend. Okay, okay. Except, except from their spouse and their spouse that what is the slave of their right hand Hello? process. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Hello. Yes. 
Are you there? Hello? What's uh, what happened? Hello? 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 Hmm. Hello? Okay, let me call him back. Do you hello? hear me now? Do you hear me? Hello? What happened? Uh, nothing wrong with my Skype. All right. Hello? Do you hear me now? Hello? What's happening with you? Hello? What's happening? <laughs> it's a miracle, my friend. Hello? Do you, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, sorry, I couldn't hear you all that time. Yes. All right, yes. all right. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Let us see. Remember, remember you're going to ask me one question. Yeah, I like to ask you. Since you are a Christian, I think it's only fair if I ask you one question. Yeah. Yeah? Remember you want to convert me to Christianity, remember? I never said I want to convert you to Christianity. You don't fit in Christianity. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank uh, God. So I'm free. Yeah. Well, you're a sex worshiper. What you I'm can free. Do? I mean, what, what, what Christianity? You don't Listen, I only have one wife. You only have one wife. You are, you, are, you, are, you are a sex worshiper. I will, I will convert you to what? Black stone worship. Yeah, like how, you cannot you cannot be fit. You are following the devil. Ever worship black stone? Mm. Don't you? I can I, I well, never never worship any black stone. And I you know what any of okay. your honest non ex Muslims in this group, I mm. beg them to tell us when they were Muslims, did they ever worship black stone? Did they? Mm. Imagine what the answer would be. Have a okay, guess. read with me, please. No Muslim ever worship. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what do you? This is the integration of uh, sorry, Jalalain. Uh, let me go to Jalalain. You don't like Ibn Abbas. Hold on. No, 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 no. no read. I say any. I'm just asking you. Read right. any man. No problem. Okay. Here we go. Read. I, I'm Muslim. I'm not afraid. I'm so sure of my okay. religion. This I'm is this is the right hand process, and this is the verse, and this is the interpretation of Jalalain. Read with me. Okay. This is chapter twenty-three, verse six, interpretation. This is the interpretation. And this is the verse, and this is the verse specifically about your prophet who is lawful for him. So we cannot, uh, you know, because, you know, Muhammad, he have a special privilege on things. So this is the verse, chapter 33, verse number 50, which is speaking about exactly, specifically, what is lawful for Muhammad. Go ahead. Read for me. Okay, read, read it. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. O Prophet, indeed, we have made lawful for you your wives, whom you have given their diaries. And what your right hand owns, the right hand owns of those whom God has given you as spoils of war from the disbelievers whom you have taken captive, such as Safiya and Juwaria, and the daughters of your paternal uncles. And the that's enough, of that's your, enough. Stop. Well, that's so, what is the slaves Muhammad yeah, is so allowed to have? What kind of, what kind of a slaves he allowed to have sex with them, according to the verse? Lawful for you, you're, you're right. You have given diaries and and what your right hand owns of those whom God has given you as spoils of war from the disbelievers whom you have taken captives. Of. Okay. So the Quran make it those clear. Who are the captives of war? Okay. So only the captive captives of war. Of Maria war. is not the captive of war. How Muhammad sleep with her? I'm just trying to catch your uh, twist here. My twist. This is my twist. No, no, you, you just use one or two words which makes it change the meanings. When you say only, I want to just see where it says that it says My friend, only. it says here, it says to you, the it says to you, stop being a liar, them. shame on you. I lost my voice jumping from a place to a place. You said to me, show me where it says what is the right hand process. Do you see here it says 
cap only captive or i mean do we, do we have to say oh and this is including it they say what it is that's it a captive of war if it's not only the captive of war they will add that he said they don't and that what your right hand owns of those whom god has given you as spoils of war mm. from the disbelievers mm. Whom you have taken captive, such as Safiya and Juaria. Mm. So first of all, it does not say only. Why you use the word only? Get lost. Because get lost. <laughs> it doesn't say only. <laughs> it doesn't say only. Like what's wrong with you? Show me. Silence me. Answer me. Okay, here we go. It's in front of you. It says only. This is only. It says who are they? The right hand process from who? Even he called the names for you. Do you see the names? Yes, Tala, why are you are calling me back? Uh, I'm calling you because you, you are. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Did you find what is the punishment in the grave? Did you can find you what happened to you? Did you find what will happen to you when you go to the grave until now? Did you search? Yeah, I found it right away. I called you back. You, you know, you didn't answer. You know, I called you right away. Mm. You so what you found? Go ahead. What you found? I give you Salih. You give me I what? Give you, you you challenged me to give you one name that was a messenger that was not a prophet, right? Mm. I give you Salih. Mm. I give you uh, Ezekiel or Zilkiful. Who, who? I give you. Let us go one. Let us go. Let us go to one by one. Salih, right? You said Salih. Salih. Yes. All right. What Saleh did? Tell us about Saleh, Mr. Saleh. Listen, that, that's what the debate. I'm, I'm driving right now. You want to name, you got names. My no, no, tell me how he became a messenger, not a prophet. Explain to me. What do you mean you want a name? Here we go. I will give you a name, Trump. You said to give you one name of a messenger that My was friend, not a prophet. Okay, show me why, what make him a pro messenger, not a prophet. Okay, we can go through that. No problem. Okay, go ahead. We'll teach you what makes a messenger a messenger and what okay. makes a, a, a prophet a prophet, right? My friend, give me Allah stop you. wasting my time. You're the one wasting people's time. Okay, give me, Allah give me, prophet. give me. Do you know even what verse in the Quran is speaking about this guy, Saleh? Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll. where? Listen, okay, listen to me. I'm right hold now. on. Okay. What verse in the Quran? Oh, blah 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 blah. What verse in the Quran? Just to show everybody, you do not know. What verse in the Quran is speaking about the prophet or the messenger Saleh? If you go to Surah, if you go to the, if you go to uh, to uh, 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 Ashwara, you find him down there. Mm. Ashwara, That's okay. Mm -hmm. Ashwara, you find you you find his name four times in those four surahs. Mm. You find Surah twenty, Surah mm. twenty six, Surah mm. twenty seven, and Surah twenty eight. Mm. I'm driving. Just so you know, mm. Saleh, Hood, uh, 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 all of them. You find their names. Okay. All of them. And what is the what is the what is the proof that he is a messenger, not a prophet? Okay, a messenger does something that different that that uh, that a prophet do. Mm. So if you want to know what's a messenger, I tell you. If you want to know what's a prophet, I tell you. Tell me Please. what he did. Tell me what he did. Make him a messenger only first. A messenger. Everybody sent by Allah is a messenger. Whether they call prophet or rasul, they all fam. You want a proof? I give you proof. This is another question. What made Saleh a messenger, not a prophet? Because Saleh didn't bring no book. Prophets bring books. Messengers come mm. without books. Mm. Regular messengers come without books. Mm. Prophets come with books. Mm. With mm. Akhat is that, is that Arabic supposedly? Are you reading for me Arabic now? Yes. Oh, I don't understand you. Speak English. Okay. Please. Allah said, verse, verse 3, uh, chapter 3, verse 81. Hmm. Allah said, Who is Ahaz Allah? Don't speak in Arabic because this is stupid. I don't understand you. Please speak to me in English. What make, what make, what makes Saleh a messenger, not a prophet? Did Saleh prophesy about his God? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Exactly. He did prophesy. So how you say he's a messenger if he prophesy? 
he didn't bring a book he prophesied about an, an, so a, a prophet a, he bring a book a prophet only he brought a book so you guys did you hear this is chapati a prophet only yeah, is yeah. the one who bring a book but he prophesy <laughs> yeah how he is yeah. a prophesying but he's not a prophet you idiot prophesizing is talking about another prophet's book get lost i have it he just said he prophesied you donkey how he is a prophesying but he is not a prophet and if he's prophesying he just brought a book because the, this is the word of god this is how donkey you you, you you people are if somebody prophesy about god he is speaking for god that is a book you write it or not muhammad he never have a book the quran says that we are the people of the book nowhere the quran is a book Kitabullah of Muhammad was not written. He was just prophesying, supposedly. The Quran written after Muhammad, long after. So he prophesied, but he is not a prophet. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? He's the guy he prophesied, but he's not a prophet. So, so who is the prophet then? Is the one if the one who prophesy in the name of God? Okay, what is the name of the book of Abraham in Islam? Where is the book of Abraham? Where is the book of Isaac in Islam? I want to read the book of Isaac. 